the week of April 20th to the 26th, and I must say thank you to everyone that came by my office hours. It's always nice to see you guys. You're the best. All right, so we're going to do a take four here. Let's try this. I have been trying to get this video out. I've made a few errors in the folders, and so hopefully they're fixed now. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and say hi to everybody. Sorry this is coming a little late on Monday. Um, I've started looking at your research papers. Some of them were quite long, but they were all pretty good. And I, so I'm very proud of the work you guys did, even though there was less direction than typically would have happened. I'll go ahead and put those grades in as engagement points. Um, and I, I'll continue to, to just show, you can see from the grade book your um, improvement uh, week to week. I want to go ahead and mention to you guys too, before we get too much further along, that uh, we are going to start doing test prep for the AP test. Uh, the AP test college board has put out a series of videos and so I'm going to try to use a lot of those at least initially because it's college board and this is what they want and so I figure it would be a great way to start. I also put up some other materials that I'll talk about in a minute but I want you to be aware that we're going to be doing a lot of test prep just getting you guys ready for the end of the year because uh, I feel like that's the best use of our time. I did want to go ahead and read a play with all of you called uh, The Crucible. I just don't think it's going to work out um, because I, it's a great play to have as a background for what's happening next year. So we'll see. I, I might have a, a way that I can kind of accomplish it uh, in class by watching parts of it together. I was hoping to do something like that because I have access to it online. But we'll see. Anyway. I also want to mention that you guys should have received an email from College Board. That email was asking if you wanted to take the actual AP test. And I think many of us, because we've been inundated by emails, may be ignoring them. Please go back and look for a College Board email. It asks you whether or not you want to take the test or not. Uh, there's, it says, I think the answers are yes, unknown, or no. So. I received a report and only six of you had said that you were planning on taking the AP test out of about 40. I don't think it's going to necessarily preclude you from taking the test, but I think they want to know numbers wise how many to prepare for for the actual test. So please do check your email. If you don't have an email that that or if you don't have that email anywhere in your accounts, you may want to double check that you still have access to College Board because that's something you need to make sure you have obviously prior to the test. You need to make sure that the email account that you signed up with is the one that you're prepared to use on the day that you're turning in the actual test. I have some information too about what the testing will actually look like, about how there's a light that comes on at the end where you have like five minutes left to submit your paper. Just some stuff that sounds a little scary to me, uh, but stuff that I think if we practice we can go ahead and ensure that we are prepared for when we actually get to the test day. But let's not worry about that today. We're going to go ahead and start with just some basic rhetorical analysis lessons. I know I'm wearing a hat with a polo shirt. Please understand that my, I let my daughter and my wife um, because we're all finding things to do because you know we're obviously very privileged that we have time to worry about things like that uh, about just what to do I feel so bad for people who have real concerns and I just uh, I have you in my heart uh, so they decided to give me a haircut so I will not be taking off my hat for a while I'm sorry let's move on oh ugly alright I may get rid of that altogether. So you'll see that I'm unpublishing the weeks as we're going. So we should have these unpublished now. Our my video should appear here, and you guys still have the link to the Google Meet. I hope you guys will come and see me. Thursdays, game day, maybe Friday this week, depending on how many kids have to go to other office hours. Week six. Now I would prefer. Schoology. Don't do this to me right now. I would prefer you click on the actual folder rather than use the carrot, the, I think the chevron, I forget what that's called, carrot, because uh, this doesn't really give you a good glimpse of what's happening. Really click here. Um, and so there are basically three main tasks you have to do. And you, somebody will say there's five. That's fine. You can argue with me. You can tell me I gave you too much work. I think this is manageable. Each of the videos is going to be around 25 minutes. But Mr. OJ, the first video says 41. Yes, I get that. But the really is 
30 minutes mo at most of actual like the instructor talking there's a lot of like think time built in I think the video takes about five minutes to get started anyway but the first video is about attacking the rhetorical analysis question so this is all about this teacher um, this teacher's viewpoint she's from Illinois really nice uh, person who did these um, Miss, uh, Mrs. Valetis, and she went ahead and she produces these lessons. You can see that she doesn't really get started until about. And you were given in. this particular so prompt to write an introduction to, and the prompt all the way to the end, where she talks about her method of annotating and attacking a text, which is quite similar, I think, to what we've discussed as far as making sure you give yourself adequate time to annotate at the beginning of any rhetorical analysis. We call our method of attacking the rhetorical analysis of annotating and kind of figuring it out Space Cat. What she's really just going to tell you, and I, what I think, it's, I think it's interesting and important, is that the most important part of a rhetorical analysis is going to be space. It's going to be the uh, subject, I'm sorry, the speaker, the purpose, the audience, the context, and the exigence. Those are really the most important uh, aspects of understanding a uh, the rhetorical situation and that is what she's getting into here and so she has a method like a three minute seven minute method that she's going to encourage you to try basically you're gonna watch that video and get a refresher on rhetorical analysis and then there are uh, there is a page of notes you could actually print out or make as a side screen if you want you can actually take the notes off to the right while you're uh, working on the actual oh, that's not it while you're actually watching the video I always like to drag things to the sides. I think that works in Chrome and just about everything else. And so you can actually take notes if you'd like so you could have these in the future because this is, again, your test. You guys can do however you want with it. And so that's what I would do if I were you guys is just have the, si the screen split as you're watching. And these are just notes you can keep. I'm not asking you to turn these in. I gave them to you because College Board suggested it, so it's there. What task you're going to do is what uh, Mrs. Valetis suggests. She suggests you guys go ahead and annotate for 10 minutes that night uh, the Margaret Thatcher eulogy for uh, Ronald Reagan. We've already done that, so it should be pretty easy. I don't mind you doing it. I think that's important. You try it again independently. Only spend 10 minutes. How do you annotate it, though? There's a lot of ways. So Schoology has not been working well. So you can choose to view it inside the viewer and I think this will allow you guys the opportunity to go ahead and type words within a specific section. No, this is not good enough for that. Let's go back. That wasn't it. So it's a PDF. So what you guys have to have is you have to have some type of PDF software. Adobe will let you comment. Uh, Google Docs, I think, has a function that lets you do it. You, the one I use is I use Foxit Reader or Foxit Writer. Um, so those are the ones you, that usually have they're PDF software that allow you to kind of comment. If you don't have any of those software programs, simply minimize this document. This is the easiest way I can think to do it. Take a picture with your smartphone and then just write on it that way with whatever you guys use to kind of annotate pictures. And that's a way we could probably just accomplish the same task. You could also, if you have a printer, print out this page and do the work that way. Um, Whatever you do, when you submit it, you're allowed to submit it just in, a, in about you know 50 different ways. It'll say over here, Submit or Submissions, and here you guys will be able to click on something and it'll allow you to submit it as a PDF, uh, JPEG, any type of file format. Just go ahead and post whatever you did in annotation there for credit for this assignment. The next step after that is to do this quick this discussion board now the discussion board is something I've added because I have this great prompt I've been wanting to use for a while and it's very short just like the man no pun intended uh, Napoleon Bonaparte's final speech actually you know what I think that's a, a, a that apocryphal isn't Napoleon actually much taller than people think somebody tell me later correct I was taller than people suppose anyway the passage is his final speech to his troops as he's being forced to ab abdicate as, I think, emperor. Uh, he's about to be exiled, and so this is his final words to his troops. I wanted you guys to do space in a discussion board. So uh, speaker, purpose, audience, context, exigence, write it out in a short paragraph, and then please post in here 
you won't be able to see other people's work until you've gone ahead and done your own. And then please go ahead and comment on somebody else's idea. Please do not just say, I totally agree with him, because that's not really commenting. Well, that's not constructively commenting. So please do that for the discussion board. You may have to return to it a different day. Then the second video is shorter. It's about 31 minutes, so about 25 minutes of actual time. And this one is where you're going to kind of discuss more in depth the rhetorical situation. Here, you're going to be looking again at the Thatcher reading, as well as looking at uh, another passage by Diane Guerrero in The Country We Love. And there are two questions you're going to be answering at the end, and those two questions are actually the assessment that you're going to complete by the end of the week. And so that's it. You have, uh, you have to annotate the Margaret Thatcher passage, you have to do a discussion board, and you have to answer a two-question test after reviewing this video. Uh, I know I'm minimizing it somewhat because if you're watching the videos and doing all the work, you're, it's going to end up being at least an hour and a half worth, 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 worth of work, but I don't think that that's a ton to ask of you guys. Please do me this favor, though, right now. I'm going to talk about it next week, but I want you all to find a way. If not, I can mail it to you. I think it'd be important that you print this out. I actually went through and developed this with some other teachers in my Facebook group, and what this is, is this is a cheat sheet to use on the day of testing. And I want to be able to start using it soon. I want to talk about it next week. But I'd like you guys to have a physical copy with you when I make my next video because I want to go through it a bit. That's it. Two videos, uh, the discussion board, um, a, sub well, a submission with one of the videos, a discussion board, another video with a quick two-question test, and then I'd like you to try to find a way to print something. If you can't print, by the way, I, again, I will, I will help you. That's all I've got, guys. Um, I hope you're all well. Please uh, ask me any questions if you need to. Uh, I miss you. Uh, see you soon.